Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at Quidditch Through the Ages, the illustrated edition. Let's get right into it. So here's the book itself. It retails for $34.99 and came out in 2020. Now you should be able to find the book for a little bit cheaper on like Amazon. But otherwise, let's start looking at it. So on the front cover here, we have this beautiful gold foiling. Oh, I love gold foiling so much and a snitch for in the cover. Now, it should be noted that the snitch's wings and the snitch itself here is a glossy print and it has some nice texture in the wings, as well as all the areas where you see gold are slightly inset into the book. So it has kind of a nice, a nice feel to it. Additionally, there, additionally, the cover of the book is a matte finish and on the side of it, it says Quidditch Through the Ages, it has this classic logo and the author and illustrator's names. And on the back, it has some information about the book itself here. A Ron Weasley quote, some uh, illustrations from inside. The different trademark logos, the two charities this book benefits, which is Lumos and Comic Relief, the barcode, and the other copyright information. So, let's get into the book itself. So opening up the book, we're met with this beautiful inner graphic, which is of a couple people playing Quidditch. An owl, looks like a bludger, and some stars, and then a Hogwarts library card right here. Now this is a callback to the original Hogwarts library books that came out that had pictures of a library card in them with names fill out on there. Opening the next page, we have an ending of all of that graphic right there. And then the first picture of the book. The next page, we have some brief information about Quidditch in here and some different players. And another thing I'd like to bring up is this bookmark right here. Now, all of these illustrated books have these kind of ribbony bookmarks in them. I hate them. They're awful. They they leave imprints on the book's pages because what happens is they tuck it in nicely and they close the book up so it keeps the bookmark itself safe but then the books get stacked in shipping and it presses the bookmark into the pages and it leaves a design of the bookmark on the page right in you can't really tell but it's there and you can and you can feel it because it leaves this exact this kind of texture inside the page. And it's only on the pages that the bookmark is tucked into, but nevertheless, it's awful, it sucks, I hate them. There's no point in having these there. They're just, I, I hate them, they're awful. Getting past that, we have other works by JK Rowling, we have the Quidditch Through the Ages logo, we have copyright information, and we have uh, a thank you by the author from uh, Comic Relief and Lumos. Next, we have the table of contents right here and a couple of Quidditch players. So here's all the table of contents. Then we have a foreword by Elbus Dumbledore and here is the artist's rendition of what Dumbledore looks like with Fox the Phoenix. Moving on, we have the first page. The illustrations in here are gorgeous. They are so pretty. I love them. I mean, they look really realistic. Each chapter has a different chapter page on it, and all the pages are marked with snitches with numbers inside of them. So like here's chapter four right here, and it has another beautiful illustration right there. And there's even fold out pages like this one here. So these two pages fold out to reveal a huge tapestry and you just fold them back in and you just want to be careful when you're you're flipping the page that these don't get bent in there. There's handwritten letters in here that are you know from different supposed people throughout history who knew about Quidditch. Other amazing illustrations. Here 
huge ones like this that are so, so pretty. And then at the very back of it, it has some different Quidditch plays. And then about the author and about the illustrator. And then of course, some information on what Comic Relief does and what Lumos does and how you can find them on the internet. And then of course, that same inner page that we saw at the beginning and the back of the book. So what are my thoughts on the book? I love the book so much. I think it's such a pretty book. The, the pages are very thick. They feel very high quality. This does not feel cheaply made. This is meant to be a collector's piece. This is meant to be read and enjoyed. I, I love this book. It's, it's beautiful. I can't, can't express enough how great this is. Now, I will say, I do still prefer the Fantastic Beasts book, the illustrated edition of Fantastic Beasts, to this as well as the other one that came out, which is the Tales of Beetlebar. So this book right here basically completes that series because in 2001, three books were released for the Hogwarts Library collection, and those were, of course, Quidditch Through the Ages, as well as Fantastic Beasts Where to Find Them, and the Tales of Beetlebar. So all those now have been made into illustrated editions and you can buy them now they're on amazon they're they're all great i prefer uh i prefer fantastic beasts to all of them i don't know i just i like the i like the graphics better in them um but this this book is still really really cool if you're on the fence about getting these as opposed to the other illustrated editions that have come out not for hogwarts library but just for the harry potter books I would totally go with those. They're illustrated by Jim K. They're very pretty. If you don't have them already, I would get those before I would get these ones. Just for the reason that there's more to be experienced with just the Harry Potter books with the illustration in them than these ones. I mean, they're cool and all, but I would say if you're trying to decide in between those, I would get the Jim K ones first. All in all, this is a really great book. It looks really great on shelves next to the other two. It's really well put together. The illustrations are amazing in it. I I do I do really like it. So yeah, I I would pick it up if you are, you know, looking to, to get this one. I would I would totally get this one. It is amazing. So yeah. But that's all. If you have any other questions about the book, make sure you leave those in the towel section down below. I try and get back to as many of them as I can. And make sure you like and subscribe to this. And you know, if you didn't like the video, send it to someone you didn't like, because I'm sure they're hated too. But all in all, that's all I have to say for now. So yeah, see you again soon. Peace out. Bye.